Welcome to To Enable Help. This short video is going to show you how to set up administrators for your organization. Right, for your organization to use this application, okay, so let me give you an example. If I go to my organizations, um, please open. There are organizations. So for you to have your organization listed as an organization, you need to contact To Enable and we will set them up as an organization and we'll set up the first user as the administrator. So you must tell us who the administrator is. And your administrator gets an access to this button. So you'll see administrator application. And what it does is it actually opens up <coughs> a completely different administrator app. That's fairly basic, but it's, it's for admin, uh, managing organizations. So here you can see organizations and I'm going to administer the organization. So I was logged in at the website and I'm now logged in. Uh, this is actually a Silverlight application and it needs to run in either Mozilla Firefox or it needs to run in Internet Explorer. So it doesn't work in Edge and it does not work in Internet Explorer. So if you click on that in either of those two programs, it's going to tell you you need to open it in a different program. So I'm going to make demo user a member of Casterbridge Music Development Academy. So I'm just going to search for Casterbridge Music Development Academy. And um, so I'm going to create a new user. And it would be the same process as if we were creating a user for your organization for the first time. We'd set your organization up and we would then be adding that user to the users table and setting them up as an, as an organization administrator. So you can see for an organization while this loads we get the name, the description, website, there's terms and conditions. Okay, so it's important that uh, users actually agree you set up terms and conditions and enrollment instructions and I'm going to demonstrate exactly how this happens in, in, a, in a moment. So here you can see a bunch of users that we've got and who they are and what their status is. And this is where we actually manage their, their status. And let me just drag it down to the bottom. So you can see there's different users. Some are organization administrators, some are mentors, which is like a teacher. Uh, PR admin uh, is a different function. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a user on here. So I'm going to add demo user to my school. Now normally what happens is when we set a, you up as a school, all the user has to do is say that they go to your school. So Castlebridge Music Development Academy is a non-profit, it's not a school, so it doesn't quite work the same way. So I'm going to go demo user and I'm hoping, okay, so I'm going to pick a demo user and I'm going to make them an administrator and I'm not going to to accept terms and conditions on their behalf. I'm going to make them a member and I'm going to allow them to teach and um, that's all I'm going to do for them. And I'm going to save that. Right, so now when demo user logs in and we're going to have to check to see it because we've got two demo users. I'm not sure which demo user I've just added. But the moment this thing saves, we are going to be able to um, demonstrate some of the administration functionality. But what I'm demonstrating to, to you at the moment is how to provide a user rights to become an administrator of your organization. And I'm also going to show you what happens when the user now enrolls into your organization, which they become a member of, when they haven't accepted their terms and conditions. The other things you can do in this space, obviously, is you can manage groups. Okay, so here you can see all the groups that we have created and who are in our groups. Okay, and you can set up terms and conditions. So we have specific terms and conditions that you need to abide by when you join our music academy, which operates in rural and Pumalanga, and their enrollment instructions. And um, there's other items which are not particularly important. The important ones are the users and who are members of your, you managing the membership status. So if I click on here, you can see people are deregistered. I go up to the top, there are users who are members. There'll be other users who are in a state of pending. Let me just flip this around. So we've got people who've been removed from the, the uh, 
from Casterbridge and there's others in the state of uh, who are members and there's others in the state of pending. At the moment we don't have any pending members. So this is where you manage the organization. So if this was your school, you would be managing your school at this point. Okay. Groups. We use groups to manage bands and to manage hubs. Schools would use groups to manage classes, to manage teams, to manage anything where you're putting users into groups. So here you can see CMD administrators, Michael Matthews, manages this team of people. Okay, I am the group leader of this group. Different people are managers of different groups. So you could have a teacher who's managing grade 10A or the sports coach who's managing the first team rugby or first team soccer. So these are groups that you can set up with people who are members of your organization. And that's where we set up a users. Uh, we add users into organizations and we authorize the users. And I'm going to go back to the dashboard and I'm going to log in as a demo user and I'm going to show you what happens in terms of how a demo user has now just been accepted as an administrator or as a new member of an organization. <laughs>